and welcome to the Lazy River Wood Turning Pin Blank Stash video. Uh, if you've already seen my wife's diamond painting stash video, then you knew this was coming. So we're gonna get into this. If you saw my post on Instagram after I built this little shelf, uh, you'll notice that there's a few more on there than what was there before. I had a lot of room and it needed to be filled. So I'll be going through these by maker, which is how they're sorted here. Uh, if you hear any car noises in the background, my apologies. I've got the garage door open to let in some more light. So let's not uh, hesitate anymore and let's jump into this. All right, so starting out here, uh, we actually have some blanks that we got from another turner who was trying to de-stash some of theirs uh, right when I was starting out. Um, some of the blanks we got have turned into some really beautiful pens and some of them have turned out to be um, not so great, which is probably why we got them as cheap as we did. But this is what I have left that I feel is usable from that exchange. Moving on, we have blanks from a company called Exotic Blanks. Uh, they specialize in, obviously, pen blanks. Uh, they also have a lot of casting supplies and turning supplies and tools and stuff like that on their website. Um, this is actually the blank for Nebula. Uh, here is a coffee and cream blank, but the last time I tried to turn a blank with coffee beans in it, it didn't go so well. So. Who knows when I'll actually get to that. And then we have some of the coral reef blanks down here. And moving right along, these blanks are from Bistro Blanks. Uh, this is actually, the two over here are actually the uh, cathedral pen that I've made a couple times in the past. Uh, let me see if I can get a little bit less glare on it. There we go. Um, Diane makes some absolutely beautiful stuff, but unfortunately for me, uh, she uses epoxy resin as opposed to the normal turning resin that I'm used to working with. They're a little bit more difficult to turn and actually, uh, you have to be more gentle with them when turning, if that makes any sense, uh, they will heat up on you and start to warp. So that's why I don't turn them as often. All right, and then next up, we are going to have just straight up wood blanks. So this is what I have from when I was planning on just turning regular pens before my wife talked me into making diamond painting pens, and yeah, we know how that has worked out. Um, here is olive wood, which smells really good when I'm turning it. Um, next to it is spalted tamarind, a piece of cross-cut zebra wood that has been stabilized. Um, it's got some really nice figuring in there. Next is a piece of stabilized California redwood. 
that I will probably be turning into a diamond painting pen, just an all wood diamond painting pen. Same with the uh, zebra wood. Uh, next is snake wood, also known as zebra wood. Uh, this is a piece of spalted beech, which spalting is just like these little lines that you see going through here and here. Um, not this one that's actually supposed to be there, but the spalting is actually a fungal growth in the wood that gives it that look. And next we have, these are all tiger wood, which is one of mine and Stephanie's favorite. And the ones that you can barely see because they're black on a black background are ebony. So. Next up, I will be showing you. All right, and from here on out, I'm just gonna be showcasing each maker individually, no matter how many or how few I have of each one, uh, just because I think they each do incredible work and deserve their own little time in the spotlight. Uh, but these two are actually the uh, Heart of Gold pen that I did in the last drop. Uh, these were created by Appalachia Turnings. They're actually both the same blank. If I can roll this over, there we go. I had some more from Appalachia Turnings that I picked up, but they have all been turned. So definitely someone I'm gonna have to re-up on after I get my stash down a little bit. And next we'll be showcasing some of y'all's favorites, Flower Girl Blanks. Now these are incredibly difficult, at least for me, to turn. Uh, they take a lot of time, a lot of extra attention when turning, but you know, they come out so beautifully. Now this is another one that I'm definitely gonna have to get some more blanks for from after uh, I get through some of my stash. And next up is Soots Crafting. Now these, the solid colors with the white streaks in them, I almost positive he called them his Candyland collection. Uh, and then we have a green Mother of Pearl abalone pen blank. Um, the group pens that I've turned in the past, as well as the night sky and the handle for the craft knife that was in my last drop, those all came from Soots as well. So he does some amazing work and I'm really looking forward to getting one of these Candyland ones done. There was a green one too, but uh, someone decided that that was hers. I'm not gonna say any names, but I'm pretty sure y'all can figure that one out. All right, and then next up is going to be Mackenzie Penworks, home of the Diamond Cast. Now, Mackenzie Penworks is where some of the favorites like Unicorn Poop and Oil Slick come from. Um, this one is really cool. Stephanie went back and forth about this one, whether she wanted me to uh, throw this in her Do Not Touch or Else I Die box. But eventually she was like, yeah. Got to save some of the good ones for everybody. Although there is one in here that I'm thinking of keeping for myself. It's gonna be this one. I really like this one. That white, gold, and blue. And this one I really like too. These are all of the Mackenzie pen works. Kind of 
Come on. All right. And next we will be showing. And here we have would be nice creations. So these are actually the mermaid tail blanks. These are pretty cool. They have cut up resin bits. Let's see if I can get it to yeah. cut up pieces of other blanks kind of folded in there. So I like these. I have yet to turn one, but I like them. Moving right along. I love their blanks. They're always so colorful and the colors are so vibrant. Here is another one of the blue raspberry blow pop that was in the last drop. Let's see what we have next. Turning a dream. I really love their hybrids that they do. They do an amazing job with their blanks, as do most of the makers that you see me turning blanks from. Otherwise, I mean, why would I keep buying from them? But a lot of these you've probably already seen as completed diamond painting pens. Like this one here is Cabana Banana Dahlia, Dreams of Diamonds and Washi. But the team over at Turning a Dream, uh, Steve and Christy, they're really great people to interact with, which some of you already know that. And Fancy Pants, which is what Steph is actually currently using on her diamond painting. I'm really excited to get into these with the uh, Chola Cactus cast in there. That's gonna be really fun. I haven't, I don't think I've done a Chola Cactus yet. Even though I have some to try to play around with, with casting my own. I just haven't gotten around to that. But, I mean, the colors that they get in there are just vibrant, beautiful colors. And then these up here, I think Steph is still trying to decide between the blue and the green which one she wants to claim one as her own. So, unfortunately, one of those is going to be off the market. But, all right. And now, next up is going to be Cocoon Blanks. Now, anybody who's been following me for a while knows I like my Cocoon Blanks. Um... A little bit. Got a few of those. Uh, Cocoon Blanks is who does all of those translucent two-tone with a solid white. They call them their liquid art series and they're not wrong. I mean, what they do with these blanks is absolutely gorgeous. Here's what I have. This one is actually, doesn't show up that well because it's on a dark background, but it's actually a translucent rainbow. And you will definitely see 
some that I've turned before going through here. I always try to get at least two of their blanks of each one just because I know they do such amazing work and I know that people are going to love it. And I'm likely going to steal one of them. Yeah, and Steph might steal one. That's a very good point. So, go back through one more time. This is, whoop. there we go. And this one up here is actually the Gator Jaw Pen that I promise I am going to get around to turning for the charity auction. I know some people don't like the idea of auctioning off a pen, but uh, it's not something I'm due to fatten my pockets. It is something I want to do to help raise money for charity. All right. So next we are going to move on to all right, and here we have my blanks from Midwest Hybrids. Uh, they do all of the honeycomb, glow in the dark, all the really fancy color swirls, like that one there. Um, Bayside from the last drop. Uh, in my last package, he actually sent me some like this one, you can see it's missing some of the, he threw the threw those in, he's like, hey, I got some uh, off-spec ones that don't really quite meet what I like to put out, so here, just throw them your way, which was really cool. So these are the Midwest hybrids, as well as these, yeah. I think I might have a problem. These are, there is what Stephanie likes to call peacock, uh, what I called tiger's eye. I'm not the only one that calls it peacock. No, you're not the only one that calls it peacock. But these are some of the other off specs that he sent me. Uh, some of these, I know I've posted a lot of pictures of blanks I've gotten from him. Some of these y'all haven't seen because I knew I was gonna be gearing up to do that, do this video. Uh, these are the ones that I won that I will be turning into a giveaway for one of those blanks. Just going through, I mean, the stuff that he comes up with. He has this really cool process where he has a mold of, or a couple different molds of some burl wood. And he uses that to cast the resin in. And that's how he gets all these different caps and stuff. And Steph's over there trying to Trying not to hack up a lot. I was trying to get you to pause. It's <clears throat> alright. And yes, there are some more and different Carlton sweater blanks. These are cool. I like these. Little pink sparkly or purple sparkly with a pink and white swirl up top. These are all of the ones with a massive amount of glitter in them. 
I know someone who is dying to get their hands on this one in particular. Yeah, so nobody go after that one unless you're the person we're talking about because there will be violence. <laughs> Some more of the butterfly garden with the abalone on each end. Beautiful little stars in this one. This one has hearts and butterflies. He did the uh, faux burl, like these ends, but he actually cast it with like just a massive amount of glitter in there. So the ends are actually like all glitter, but he did it in the middle, which was cool. And this is actually, I don't know how well I can get you to see this. This is actually, focus, focus, all right, it doesn't want to focus. All right. It's actually a purple mesh that's in there. Uh, yeah, here also. There, a little bit. See that a little bit better now. And then this one was done with a rainbow mesh fabric. So that Stephanie's efforts aren't wasted. There's the purple mesh. You actually can see it better, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And. Like we said, glow in the dark. Here is the glow in the dark. Like. All right, so that is what I have from Midwest. Give me one more overview real quick. And then we will get into the last. And now we come to the blanks that I've made. So. Here you go. Some of these you have definitely seen before. And some of these you haven't. Really like these. I actually did this as a special casting. All these, let me see if I can wipe these down real quick. Give a little wipe there. I like that one. And then over into these are all gonna be minis up here. And this one I'm gonna have to cut down a lot. down. That's the one that uh, Stephanie just posted recently on Instagram that I did for her. I'll be honest with you, I enjoy casting and trying to come up with new different color combinations and just seeing what I can come up with. I enjoy doing that almost as much as I enjoy turning. 
maybe I do need to teach Steph how to turn pins and then I can just do casting full time. So, I don't know. It depends on what I've done most of recently, I guess. Well, if I've done more turning recently, I like doing casting more. <laughs> don't forget, you need a reason for me to keep you around. This is I true. So. Alright, and next up... We are going to do a preview of what I have selected so far for the next drop. So I will be right back with those. All right, so here's what I have planned so far for the next drop. Got a good mix of the different makers in here. Got some minis. Here's some diamond cast. So I don't think this is going to be all of them. I'm going to try to do 50 again, possibly without one-off items this time, just to give them a little bit of a breather. But let me show you all something real quick. Like this one here, you, know, you got the glitter all the way through it. This is... Uh, I did the mini for this one on the last drop, Blizzard. But this is why I actually started trying out the vertical casting. And you can see the glitter is all the way through it. But when I try to do glitter on the normal molds like I do, like I've done. Where is it? Which side? There. It all settles to the bottom. A lot of it does at least. And then I start, you know, I lose a lot of the glitter when I go to turn it. So that's why I started. And then I found the glitters from Radiate Lovecrafts and that has become the recent casting obsession of mine. But here's what I have. Like I said, planned so far for the next drop. I'll probably be adding some in. These are all subject to change. Um, you know, there's been a couple times I planned on turning one and it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So I've had to replace it. But if you see something in here you like, Keep an eye out and hold on for a special surprise. All right, so a surprise may have been uh, a little misleading. Sorry about that. But uh, we're going to look at what is in Steph's pen blank stash. Yes, that's actually what's written on the box that she keeps hers in. So, this is what she has claimed for herself. A lot of these you've already seen. This is why I get duplicates. And some of these are so old. This one here is the same as the one that I turned in my first and so far only live pen turning um, months ago that she still does not have turned for her. As much as you would think she gets pens turned for her, she actually doesn't. Most of my pen turning time goes to y'all. 
Yeah. Here's the green one I was talking about earlier with uh, soots. So these are the ones that she has claimed as hers that she has uh, graciously given up on a lot of them for everyone. So I think that about wraps up this video. So, you all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, if there's any particular blank that you guys really want to see turned for the next drop that was not included in what's upcoming, uh, let me know down below and I will try to locate what it is and include that in there. Uh, as a reminder, I do not take custom turning requests. Uh, unfortunately, my time is very limited because of my day job. So most of my efforts go towards making the drops happen. I just wish I could make them happen more frequently. So y'all have a great day, night, whatever time it is y'all are watching this. And we will see you next time. Bye.